Ah, okay. On this one, um, basically on this bait demonstration, I'm basically going to show you how to use a pool noodle as flotation and um, for bulking up baits. We're using our standard clean water raggy trace with our dangle. I've got some thick Kingfisher latex cotton, a very sharp knife, chocker hammer. Okay. Basically what we're going to do first of all, I'm just going to clean up here a little bit, take all the stuff off of it, take that away, put my bait over here. Pool noodle. Very simple, I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces off here. Okay. What we do is we cut it quite thin, so I'm going to show you quickly. Thin little pieces that are about that thick, that's all we're looking for. So we're just going to cut a whole lot of them before I do anything, just... Okay, that should be enough. Okay, what we're going to do... <clears throat> there's our trace. I'm just going to put all the pieces of pool noodle to one side. Here's our lovely frigate that we're using. Uh, let's just have a look. First things first, this is going to be a soft bait demonstration. So I'm going to start cutting my, my frigate. And I'm just going to lie it this way. But what we're doing is we're just going you know, to... Okay. There we go. It's very important when doing this bait that your <clears throat> bait, whichever bait it might be that you want to use, is very frozen. And the reason being is we're going to hit it with a choco hammer, a lot of cotton on it, and as it defrosts, the cotton is going to pull tight, the elasticated cotton, just get me right there, the elasticated cotton is going to contract around the bait pushing all the blood and the smell out of the actual bait and that's what you're trying to achieve. Um, I'm just going to take this here, go through there, okay I'm just going to put him down, okay. There's the stomach part, there's the head <coughs> of our actual little frigate that we're using and now I'm going to make a lot of long incisions into this bait. So, and they're going to be long and thin. So all you want to do is basically bulk up the bait as best as you can with these thin little pieces. Okay, I'm very happy with that at the moment. I'm just going to leave that part there. Let's start off with the most important part. That part there. Cotton, lovely. Dangle. I'm just going to throw all of this around so I can work with it a lot better. <clears throat> this little part, being the first part of the actual bait that we use, we just lightly insert through the back of the hook. So the tail part, the hard part, which has got the backbone in, is facing up. Okay, here we go. So there's that, that part of it. And I'm just using this as a base. So I stick quite a bit of cotton on it. Here we go. And we use a lot of cotton, guys. Okay. We now take our thin little pieces of pool noodle and we try and wrap it around that little bonny cutlet that we've put on there. Yeah. Keep this hook away as best as you can. Another one. Now what we're doing is we're making a very big bait that is going to be very, very light. 
And as you know, raggies love big baits. The bigger the bait, the faster the bite. Okay, one more thin cutlet. Let's find a nice little thin one here. That one will do fine. Okay, there we go. And one more just for fun. There we go. Okay, so basically that's what you've got. A nice big round ball of foam that weighs nothing. Now all we're going to do is add our thin cutlets of Bonito to it. I'm just going to open them up a bit here. And they are still semi hard which is nice. We're going to use the hard side of the hammer, the thick side of the hammer and we just lightly just to soften it up so we can actually work with it. So we're just trying to soften it up so we can work with it. Okay, there we go. Start adding our first little cutlet. Keep all the guts in. Just start working it in. Okay, there we go. Okay, once we got there, <clears throat> we then take our hook that's been hanging free and start tying that now into the actual bait. So over there. Okay. okay, so that's basically <clears throat> the start of our whole trace. Now we take the rest of the cutlets, again just lightly cut. This is the biggest, thickest part of the actual bait, and that part we stick under the hook, the top hook. So we take that part. And we just start working him in place. Okay, there we go. Push all those pieces away. This is the stomach part that we had right in the beginning. And the hard side of it. That's got all the blood in it. Just knocking it down. And we start working that into our bait that we've made up. The head part. We try and trim the gills down, so the gill plates we start cutting out. So take the hard part of the gill plates out. There we go. We then take this and split it open. Just take a knife and just break all the hard parts off. That part over here, if you can have a look, that part from where the mouth, the jaw actually starts, we cut off. It's just wasted. 
Now it gets very interesting. Make sure you on the beach and not at home doing this because everything's going to get covered in blood and smell. That part <coughs> then covers the entire top section of your actual bait. Okay, so that's basically the end result of your actual bait. And the reason we like that bait to be semi-frozen is when that cotton pull start, it starts squeezing all the blood out of the actual bonito, yellowtail, whatever bait you're actually using. The hooks are very proud and that's very important, that's key to it. <clears throat> So yeah, I'll just get the sinker and I'll show you what happens. Once we hook our sinker on to our trace, there we go. <clears throat> That's basically what it looks like. You can, if you want, just add a little bit more. It's not quite as round as I'd like it to be over there. Let's put two more pieces on there just to give that part a little bit more aerodynamic shape to it. There we go. That's much better. It's a very light bait. This is extremely light. And you can throw it a mile and a half. Look at how it's starting to ooze now as it's getting a lot a lot warmer and all the blood is now starting to squeeze out of it because it's defrosting. Look at that blood coming out of it. Only because it's starting to defrost. Now you throw that in the water and of course with the water temperature being slightly warmer it's going to basically suck all that blood out into the water. It can start flowing down the current and that and any raggy that's anywhere near it will pick up that scent and follow the scent trail all the way down. Obviously, if there's lots of little peckers around, they, they eat on the cotton, they bite the cotton, the tobies and stuff like that. The little parts that you've done on these little thin pieces actually come off, but there's more around it. So, yeah, you can leave it in there half an hour, 45 minutes, let it saturate properly into the water, and eventually something's going to come looking. And that's a completed trace. Let's put it together once again. And as you can see, these hooks are very, very proud when it goes into the raggy's mouth. You're definitely going to get a hook up with that. Okay. That's using a bonnie <coughs> or a frigate or a yellowtail. doesn't make a difference. It looks the same at the end of the day. But that's basically what you're trying to achieve. Big round bait, lots of cotton on it to squeeze all that uh, moisture and blood out of the actual fish or bait. <laughs>